Okay, this is a video on function notation for GCSE maths, uh, especially for a student of mine called Henry Finn. Now, we don't tend to do a lot of uh, function notation GCSE maths, but we need to be aware of, of how it works. Um, and the sort of things we, we should be aware of is that uh, the function notation is just a replacement for an equation. So if I have y equals 2x plus 3 as a, an equation, then I can rewrite that as a function of x, which is 2x plus 3. So in a sense, the f of x, the function of x, is just the y value. And the same here, if I had x squared, and here if I had cos x. Now, um, where we're going to use it mostly is in the transformations of graphs, but just so that uh, we get a, an idea of how it can be used um, in other ways, um, if I was asked to calculate f of 1, all that we're doing there is replacing the value of x with the number 1. So we have 2 lots of 1 plus 3, which is 5, and the function, say we had, we were asked to work out f of 2, we'd have 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 3, which would be 7. And similarly, if I was doing it for x squared, uh, f, f of x f of 1 equals 1 squared which is 1 f of 2 would be 2 squared which is 4 and if I was doing it using this cosine f of f of 90 would be equal to 0 and f of 180 degrees would be equal to minus 1 so in that sense the, the function is just a replacement for an equation now where we'll tend to see it is in this sort of question where we're given a graph that's already drawn and we're told that that is the f of x. So this is a graph of f of x, a function of x. We've done something to x to get this graph. Now in this case it's a cubic graph, you should recognize that. But uh, it's not important what the actual equation of the graph is. And in fact the equation of the graph is quite complicated. So it's much easier to represent it as just the, the function x. And if I want to uh, then draw f of x minus 1, I can use my transformations of graphs, which I know that if I take 1 away from the function on the outside, all I'm really doing is just taking 1 off all the, all the points. So whatever value they were before, they're going to be 1 below where they were before. So it's going to be very roughly looking a bit like that. That's a very poor drawing. Um, and if I was doing f of x minus 2, and I'm going to do another video on uh, specifically on transformations of graphs, so this is all going to be in that. But uh, when I subtract 2 on the inside of a function, um, what I'm actually doing is doing a, a positive horizontal translation. So that's moving it 2 to the right. So it's adding 2 to each point and making it move to the right. So this point was just below minus 1. It's going to move 2 to the right, it's going to be just below 1. This point, which is at 0, is going to move across to 2. And this point which is at 2 is going to move across to 4 and I would redraw the graph like that. So everything's been moved across to. And that's essentially what function notation is used for on most GCSE questions. 